Well, here we are with another quick look at, of course, I say quick look, but it's usually a, an eight or a 10 minute video minimum, right? <laughs> so this is another look at Sim Update 11 beta release. This is the first beta release. It was installed yesterday on my system. I am flying very vanilla. I empty out my community folder when I test a beta. I have no add-in airplanes, no add-in scenery, nothing. Completely empty community folder, which you should have anytime you update or install anyhow. Uh, the settings, which I'll show you about halfway through this video, the current settings that I'm on, it's the DLSS DirectX 12, and I am using the enhanced mode which gives me over twice as many frame rates as the old options that we had available to us. Now all I did was I just selected default for overall quality. I didn't pick a high-end system, I just said default which means everything is in the middle. Everything's on medium, the sliders, the LOD sliders are all on 50, and we are flying right now in the suburbs of New York, heading towards the city. And overall, I think the performance is pretty darn smooth, um, even looking out the side. I think it's, it's pretty smooth performance. Now, the biggie here is the support of DLSS 3, which is in this release and the fact that the latest NVIDIA driver also supports DLSS 3. So when those two are in alignment, it should really make a nice difference to the performance of the sim. Um, there's also the AMD option now is available, and I'll show you that when we look at the settings. But yes, yeah, I mean, you know, even looking to the side down there at the buildings, which I can't really do long, obviously, because then I'll drift to the side. And I will crash. Um, and I don't want to do that because I want to see how more of how this performs. This is my first time coming to the city with any aircraft. And so, again, all the default settings for the graphics under VR right now. I haven't changed any settings for the NVIDIA control panel. None of the settings in my video on settings have been changed with the exception of the new in-game options that are available because of this new sim update. Yeah, I think the performance is really sweet. I mean, so, all right. So you can see I got it on DLSS Super Resolution. And it's on auto. Now, the other option is DLAA. When I put that on, my frame rates cut in half. They dropped in by 50%. So it's on auto. And you can see that the NVIDIA Reflex low latency is on. Now, when I first go in and try and launch a flight, I can't change that. But once I'm flying, it, it adjusts itself. And you can see global rendering right now is on default, which means, again, everything is in the middle. Everything is medium. So I'm going to change a couple of things. I'm going to go to medium, which is, I know, the same. And But then I'm going to go here to change my buildings to high. I'm going to increase my filtering and my sampling. So I increased just those three items. And now we're back in roughly the same part of the suburb heading towards the city. And... Yeah. May have introduced just a tad bit of stutter. Now, for some reason, I've noticed that the last few videos, when I put them on YouTube, they actually stutter more than the videos do on my computer. Something about YouTube lately, when I've been uploading some of these videos. So the stuttering in the video on YouTube is a lot more than what it is in the actual game and on the video on my computer. If I'm watching the video just locally on my computer, it's very smooth. There's really very little stuttering. And then as soon as I upload it to YouTube and watch it on YouTube, it, it almost starts to look like a little bit of a stop motion project, you know? <laughs> Not quite that bad, but but definite difference between what I'm seeing on my computer and in the headset. The headset quality 
is really right on. And I know a lot of times before when we would record something in the Quest, what we saw in the headset was not what was on the recording. The recording was usually nicer. But since the recording is now built into the headset, has the advanced recording feed capabilities, and the changes made within the sim itself, what I'm seeing in the headset is pretty much what's seen on the video recording afterwards. So if you want to know what it looks like through the eyepiece, and I will film that as I usually do once the beta has been a little established and we're sure it's not going to go away or change on us. But I will tell you that what I'm seeing in the headset is almost identical to what you're seeing on the video. The clarity of my gauges is what you're seeing in the video, and that's what I'm seeing in set in my headset. So, yeah. So with the buildings on high, still look really nice. It may have introduced just a slight bit of stutter. But, you know, if you're really going to do this, you can change other things to make this smooth. If you wanted to spend some time flying in the city, you know, turn the trees down. Who needs the trees, right? Crank the buildings up, turn the trees down. And quite frankly, get rid of the clouds. You get rid of the clouds, your frame rate increase improves dramatically. <laughs> Even if you have just a few clouds, they, they add. Because remember, the clouds are all moving. Every cloud in the sky is a moving object that's being rendered. And so... The more clouds you have, you know, and then you add on traffic and everything else. Yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of bandwidth needed, a lot of processing. And you know what? If I look down and I only see two cars on the highway when it's a highway that should have a hundred, I don't really care. And clouds, I like them. I'm happy with fine with leaving my clouds on medium. You know, I to me they're fluffy. They're white and fluffy like a cloud, so <laughs> they look fine. I'm not going to put them up on high or ultra. Sometimes I do if I'm really at high altitudes and I'm not seeing the cities. But flying down here in the city, yeah, I turn them off or turn them way down just because, you know, I'm concentrating on the buildings and the flying, not the, not the clouds. So anyhow, there you go. Another look at Sim Update 11 Beta, first release. And we'll try here and we'll do another look to the right. And see how it looks with the sun. Not bad, not bad. And we'll try the right. Yeah, I mean the left. And, and we crash. See, I don't fly with my crash off. 